Zach Wilson is no longer a member of the New York Jets. What were the trade details and what does this mean for the NFL draft? Let's talk about it now on JetCast. Zach Wilson's been traded to the Denver Broncos. The former second overall pick is being packaged up with a seventh. Uh, we're going to eat a little bit of his money, eat a little bit of that salary, and we're going to send him off to Denver. We're getting back a sixth rounder. Now, this is good for everybody. Zach goes to Denver where he can kind of reset his career and hopefully learn underneath Sean Payton. I always thought Zach was, he had the arm strength, he had the arm talent, we all knew that, but he never really had it up here, right? He wasn't able to read defenses properly. He wasn't able to get the ball out on time. And over the last three years, we have had the most anemic offense in the entire league. Now for us, it gets that dead weight off of the team. I, I thought maybe they would keep him going into training camp, but he would have, like I said, he would have been a dead man walking, really. Everybody knew he was gonna be gone. So I guess there was no positive or there was no upside to bringing him into training camp. I, I thought maybe that uh, another team's quarterback will go down and the Jets could move him for and get a little bit more, but I'm fine with this. Get him out of the building and we get to reset. As far as the draft is concerned, I think that this now means that we're going to take a quarterback in the later rounds, in the third or the fourth round. I made a video where I talked about guys like Spencer Rattler. Jordan Travis and Sam Hartman. And I think these are all really good prospects that would benefit from sitting down for two or three years and learning behind guys like Aaron Rodgers and uh, Tyrod Taylor. Not that, you know, that, not that it's their job to teach a young quarterback, but if you bring someone in here and let him sit, he's, he's gonna learn at least from uh, just being in the room with these guys and how they go through their process, how do they prepare for games. And I think that's the perfect scenario for Joe Douglas to create that quarterback factory that he talked about in his last press conference. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Was this a good trade? Was this a bad trade? Do you think it's a positive that we get him at now? Or do you think we should have held on and seen if we got a little bit more? As always, hit that like and subscribe button and let's go Jets.